Hey guys, as per popular request, an explanation of ordinal numbers. Um, so we're not talking one, two, three, we're talking the second, third. Um, we'll go over um, the a couple of groups. First, we'll go over the first 10 numbers because they have the most spelling exceptions. Then we'll look at the slightly bigger numbers and also the normal rule for things. Then we'll go to big numbers because those are fun. And of course, we'll practice as well. Okay, let's start with the first 10, okay? Um, so in the first 10, you can find a lot of exceptions. All the ones with a little exclamation mark are really an exception to the rule. Uh, what is the rule, you might ask me then? Well, if you want to make a, a, a normal number, what we call a cardinal number, into an ordinal number, um, you add th at the end. Uh, a completely regular one is, for instance, fourth. Um, number four plus th makes fourth. Um, all the other ones are so irregular, it's really annoying. Um, especially first, second, and third are completely irregular. Uh, and that seems to be a thing in loads of languages, actually. Same in Dutch, right? Eerste, tweede, derde. And not entirely uh, regular either. Um, anyways, so um, we've got first, second, third. And that's just something you need to study by heart. There is no trick. Um, sorry. Um, for fifth, all you need to notice is that the spelling changes. Um, so it's not five, but it becomes fifth with an F. Um, the same goes for eighth. Um, the word eight ends with a T. It's not with a double T, though, when you uh, add TH. So one of the T's is left off. Ninth has a similar problem. Uh, normally it would end in an E, but when you add TH, the E drops and it's just ninth, like with N I N T H. Um, that said, uh, all the other ones, uh, fourth, sixth, seventh, and tenth, are completely regular. Nothing weird going on there whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, this is a little bit of studying, really. If you need to abbreviate this, because sometimes we write it down in short way, um, then most of them get th, right? A number plus th, like fourth, as you can see it right there. Um, but the ones that are uh, exceptions, like first and second and third, they also abbreviate in a different way. Um, they use the last two letters of the word. So first, when you make it shorter, it gets one ST. Uh, second gets two ND. And third gets three RD. Um, if you have to read it out, it's first, second, third. Okay. Um, having said that, I would like to take a step up and go to slightly harder numbers, the bigger numbers. And also the general rule for how to do it with all the other numbers. Um, first of all, uh, there are two more really weird ones. Um, sorry, actually one more really weird one because 11 is really not that special either. It's just 11 plus th. Uh, but 12 also changes spelling. 12 is usually with ve at the end. But when you make it into 12, it has th. Um, the numbers 13 to 19 are completely regular. They just get th. So 13, 14, 15, 16. It's nothing weird going on there. Uh, but when you reach number 20, um, then we do change something in the spelling again. Uh, it's 20th with I-E-T-H. I see I forgot something right there. Um, the short version of 20 is just 20 plus T-H. Um, the way you do it with 20th is also the way you do it with 30th, 40th, 50th, 60th. All of those ending in a Y are exactly the same. Now, what to do when numbers become bigger than 20? Um, we changed the last one uh, into the uh, um, ordinal number. So if you do 21 and you want to make that into an ordinal number, you change the one. So it becomes 21st uh, and not 20th, first of something, no, just the first. Um, and that's how you do it for all the numbers, really. So if you can do this up to 20, um, then you're there, basically, because those are the ones we always need. So it's uh, 30 seconds. It's uh, 53rd, uh, 69th, uh, 531st, uh, doesn't matter. The rest of it is like you, you're used to doing it. Um, and if, having said that, the big numbers are also not super hard. Uh, no matter how big I make the number, it's always the last part of it that changes. So if there are millions there, if there are thousands there, um, just do it the normal way that you, you were taught to do with cardinal numbers, the normal numbers and then only change the ending. Um, so the only part that you might have to change are the ones and the tens, um, depending a little bit on what number is there. Um, 
if the number is uh, just a once, so there's no tenth there, then it's always just the ones. That's pretty self-evident, I think, like here in the example, 45,000 and ninth. Um, if the number is a number that we usually have a separate word for it, like 11th, um, then we also use that word here now. So it's not 10,310 first. No, that's weird, right? Um, you use 11th and the same goes for 12, 13, and then so, so on and so forth until the 20th. Um, and then from 20 up, you use the normal way of doing it again with the ones. Um, so it's uh, 312, 313, 314, 15, 16, 17th, 18th, 19th, 320th, 321st, and then you keep going like that. Um, so basically, big numbers are no different from small numbers. That's what you want to remember. If you can do it up to 20, you're there. Uh, time to practice, because this isn't fun if you're not practicing. And I've come up with some rather big numbers because that's the, be the best way to do it, I think. Uh, put me on pause for a second and write down these cardinal numbers as ordinal numbers in full. So no abbreviating. And when you're ready, press play again. You have press play again. So let's go to the answers. Uh, here we go. Um, they're really hard to read because they're really long answers, but I'll, I'll talk you through it. In the first one, um, we need to make uh, 92 into an ordinal number, and the ordinal number for that is 92nd. Uh, what came, came before that is the normal way, so 9,492nd is a full answer. If you were to abbreviate that, you would write it with ND at the end. Um, for the second one, uh, 482,000, nothing weird is going on there yet. 800 is also there in the normal way, and then we have 4 left, and the ordinal number of that is 4th. So there we go, uh, 482,804. Uh, in the third one, we have um, 58,000, nothing special yet. 300, nothing special yet. And then we have 90. The ordinal number for that is 90, 90th. So here we go, we get 58,390th. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, on to the fourth one, which is the longest one, and it even had a million in it. Uh, but it doesn't matter, as I said before, because the millions and the thousands, they don't change. So it's 1,486,100, and then we need to pay attention. Okay, 23, how do we make that into an ordinal? 23rd, um, so it's 1,486,123rd. Oh, wow, I'm glad I got that out of my throat, am I? Um, and that's actually the real, the full story. Um, so it's really, it really seems harder than it is. And most of the exceptions are the ones we use the most as well because they are in our dates. Um, and that's what makes it a little bit tricky. Um, but study this one by heart and you're gonna be okay, okay? I have trust in you guys. It's time for the end screen. There we go. Um, please remember at all times that English can be fun. Don't stress, learn from your mistakes, learn from each other. Always ask all your questions, just drop, shoot, shoot me a message and speak as much English as you can. If you find an English speaker out there, use them and abuse them. And until then, perhaps you could subscribe to our channel. All right, bye-bye.